Hello, and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor, and, well, we're back in the Bloodfells once again. Uh, last time we missed uh, a few things that we were doing in Sundergrad. Well, not a few things, one thing. Uh, we finished questing in Sundergrad. But the quest took us back to Lindlock before I finished the Legacy of the portion in there. So, that's what we'll need to do first and foremost today. That is going back to Sundergrad, advance the Legacy of Durin. The little part that we missed. And then hopefully we will be ready to move on towards uh, the Mist Hallow. Which is the second area in the world of Lang. I, well, I'm a little bit hazy on the details of this region. It's one of the most recent ones. It was released on uh, April, May of 2020, so it's not been that long, all things considered. But I, I still feel... I, I mean, I remember a couple things, but not everything. So I'm, I'm trying to... Doing my best to pick an optimal route for, for our travels in here. But I'm not sure. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not sure how good am I doing. For the most part, I think we've been doing good. I mean... Uh, we've been able to advance all our quests alongside the Legacy of Durin, for the most part. But... Uh, still not sure what will come next for example how am i gonna handle it but you get the idea but basically i gotta go back to sundergrad it's just that i hadn't realized uh, how cool of a picture you can take from from the distance how the Grand fortress sort of blends into the mountain i i hadn't realized that actually most of the time when I'm making my way to this place, I'm just focusing on avoiding the enemies on the landscape right in front of me, but not the skyline, for example, and well, the horizon. It do, does look kind of nice. We'll need to take care of all the enemies coming after us, I guess. Well, just this guy, it seems. Alright, so last time we were here, uh, we helped Imak and Benku do some scouting around the area, and now we gotta talk to Benku. My sword arm has grown even stronger with the practice. Very good, my friend, very good. If the goblins of Kundavat put up as little fight as those of Sundergrad, the Shelroka will have the home that was promised to them before the week is out. I my sword arm has grown even stronger with the practice. So you can see in here sword wielding has increased by one point as well, I think it was. Gorgard the Ruthless is less than nothing to me, and soon he will be just a memory. If Prince Singor commanded me to face him in a duel of swords, I would do so ungladly. I would do so even if it was to be a contest of axes, should my prince command it. Ah, it feels good to fight again. I may be old, but I can still go axe to skull with a common goblin of the mountains and three of his friends. Goblins brow thoroughs with thought. Do goblins have friends? Better to say allies, perhaps, for I have seen little proof of friendship among Axel's kind or his descendants. Then again, my axe does the talking for me, and he is a sharp conversationalist, swift and pointed with every argument. So axe wielding has also increased by one point, uh, in Gloin's case. Okay, that was a good one. I will have to remember that and tell Gimli when I next see him. But listen to me, Beriathan. Now that we have gotten some exercise, I think there is something we should do while we are at Sundergrad. A couple things, actually, but... Let me take a picture of you guys before we leave Sundergrad. I mean, I, I've grown quite fond of our little company. Uh, 
and seen all the dwarf clans working together. Well, not all the dwarf clans, but different dwarf clans working together is also a uh, side for survives. High above Sundergrotz is a place of great interest for the Longbeards, and I would like to see it. I would like for us to climb to the summit, Breath, and High above Sundergrotz is a place of great interest for the Longbeards, and while we are here, I would like to see it. Oh, well, let me go with you then. Long ago, during the First Age, the Grey Mole Rebellion came to an end among the rocky cliffs of High Sundergrot. Just a... just a moment, my friend. The climb to this high place has quite exhausted me, and we are not yet at the top. I must rest for a moment. I am not tired. I could climb a hundred more steps. You go on ahead, Breath, and I will meet up with you after a short rest. And I will keep the low, the old Longbeard company while he rests. A capital idea, Imac. Berathan will go on ahead. Okay, I guess. Uh, Secure in the way? Most likely. What I'm doing. Don't you worry, guys. Take a breath. And we'll continue. The forlorn wind whistles among the cracks, but nothing else moves. The drift covers an ancient helmet of dwarf make shattered long ago. What have you found, Beriathan? A broken helmet? That find is coming in up. Ah, but not from here, Imak. It was here that Mats of the Traitor claimed leadership of the dwarves. It was here that he built his city during the first age of this world. Dwarves fought dwarves in this place, spilling kindred blood. And... Someone comes. But who else would think to climb this high? My prince! Loin, Bariathan, I see your purpose mirrors my own. What purpose is that, my prince? To visit High Sundergrad before the great campaign begins, of course. You and your traveling companions have done well, Baryathan. I received Gloin's message at Skarhald not long after it was sent, for his messenger ravens are renowned for their speed, and the bird he selected was no exception. His tidings of a new lord of Gundavat fill me not with fear, but with anticipation, for no orc will stand between me and my chosen path, no matter his lineage. I had the message copied and sent on to the Lonely Mountain, the Iron Hills, and other dwarf holdings in lands both near and far. My army is gathered to march on Gundavat, and all will be forewarned with the tidings uncovered on your scouting expedition. I am eager to turn my gaze upon the mountain home, and sought no delay, but I wanted to first make the journey here to Sundergrot. It was here that the very first Durin to bear that name put an end to the usurper Motsuk, solidifying his power and his claim to lead the dwarves with that victory. By making this journey, I hope to become closer to my ancient forebear, that I may draw strength for the battles to come from the memory of, the, of he whose name I bear. I confess that I didn't expect so much climbing. It seems the path continues to the northeast. I ask you to keep climbing upward, Beriathan, and to clear the way for us. Okay, keep clearing the way I shall. You can see here this place is basically destroyed, blazing ruin, and uh, finding a way around it. And at times be tricky. I, I mean, I do usually get lost in here. At times, uh, there are a couple missions back in this place. You hear growling sounds and fluttering wings in the upper reaches of the ruins. Uh, 
as long as these bats don't apply any stuns, I will be okay. Ah. Oh. And I heal this. Beasts. We're gonna just ah! prop these guys. Ah! Ah! Right. opening it seems you see it's kind of kind of tricky but no there's a dwarf blade that I didn't see I mean there was no no text for this blade right the blade is of such ancient make that it must have been broken long ago I was not sure I should come here. My thought said to me, go to Gundavad, do not delay. But my heart said, there is a place you should see. Two voices there were, and they were in conflict. They are the voices of all longbeards, my friends. They have driven every during before you, and now they speak to you in concert. Perhaps, Chloe, that may be. I am glad I came here to hike Sundergrad after all. In this place, I feel my kinship with Durin the First more keenly than ever. Imak, Benko, may I now speak privately with Beriathan? Really? Uh, fine. Very well. I will be here if you need me. Beriathan. This is a matter of some delicacy, my friend, and I urge you to exercise discretion. I will not belabor the point, for I trust you will use such prudence as this subject requires. I task you with finding and defeating the raiding party from Gundavad that endangered the folk living among the wells of Langflot, and from Gloin's message Raven I know that you did so successfully, but there is one matter of concern that was not made clear to me in the message. I ask you this, then. Were Imak and Venku effective on this errand? Did you have any reason to question their loyalties? Did they strike you as good-hearted allies of the Longbeards, or did you detect pains of disloyalty or deception running beneath their surface appearances? I do not know if you are familiar with the Grey Mole Rebellion, but all my people know the lesson of High Sundergrove. Even our closest friends can be tempted into treachery, as was Motsok the traitor. He was once the traitor's friend of Durin, father of the dwarves, and still he raised the Grey Mole army in rebellion, claiming a lordship that was not his. Durin the first repeated the treachery with death, though Motsok was once his closest friend. I would not say the Shrelroka or the Stadax are as dear to us as that, Beriathan. You are sure, Durin, that you have few complaints about the trustworthiness or effectiveness of your companions. Then I do not, either. Still, I advise you to keep an eye upon the Shelruk especially, for his people believe they have a claim upon Gundavad, and I do not want to win it back from the orcs only to lose it to these dwarfs from the east. I am ready. Like the dwarfs who came before me, whose name I now bear, my heart is filled with noble purpose. I have commanded my armies to descend upon Elder Slade. They wait now for me. They wait now for us, if you will accompany me to war. Hmm. I will. 
I have known my road leads to Gundabad for some time now. I will fight alongside you, Durin. You may have need of my nose. What? <laughs> I am is also having fun. Marathon will tell you, yeah, I will. Eventually. Friends and allies, our road leads to the north, to Elder Slade. Are you prepared? Always prepared. To Elder Slade, then. May the journey be quick and the road uneventful. Victory lies at the end of it, at the very gates of Gundabad. Do not take me there. Take me back to Sundergrot if you will. Please. I'm begging you. Please. Ah! No! This is not where I wanted to be. Alright. It seems fortune is with us. The journey was uneventful. And yet we cannot rest for war and danger lies ahead of us. But do not worry. Victory and triumph lies that way too. I commanded the establishment of a war camp from which we will launch our assault. I commanded the establishment of a war camp from which we will launch our assault upon Gundavad. Let us find it. Many old dwarf keeps dot the foothills of Elder Slate, and my warriors are certain to have chosen one of these. I do not know which one, but I do know the name it will be given. Anna Kurfu, the camp of return. For is this not the first step in the return of my people to the mountain home? The war camp is likely to the northwest of here, inside one of the old dwarf keeps. Alright, so yeah, as I told you on one of the previous episodes, Chapter 3 of the Legacy of Durin was released alongside War of Three Peaks, so now it's urging us to go to Elder Slate and, well, start that portion of the game, but we still have half of the Wills of Langflot uh, to complete, so I think we actually need to... Once again, Master Pack in a limb lock. We'll get to the War Camp eventually, but we still need to finish helping the people in here before we do so. And uh, it's tricky, as I told you, uh, finding a way to uh, complement the Worlds of Langflot with the first uh, chapters of the Legacy of Durin, because as you have seen, uh, they don't follow the same path. Now that we, after we enter Elder Slate, they will once again converge fully but until then, as you can see, as you have seen, is it's been kind of clunky. Um, I guess we could have waited until we have finished all of the Wells of Langblood before doing Sundergrot uh, with Agatur and with Glowing and the other dwarves. Uh, you get a chance of, of coming back to Limlock, I guess, I believe, when you finish all the other things in in the land flood, but that includes Sundergrot, so that might not have been a good idea. In any case, uh, the decision has already been taken. We have completed Sundergrot, and uh, well, now we can technically go to Elder Slate, but once again, still, there are still a lot of things we can do here in the Wales, and that's what we will be doing for the time being. A few more episodes, at least. Not exactly sure how many, but uh, we'll see. I guess now it's time to, uh, well, so black block. Get all this back in the tracker, all shows like a good in the anvil. Oh, we were not dismounted. Okay, cool. I guess I maybe should have uh, taken the worsted. If we get dismounted, I'll get the worsted. But or you know, you know what? I might take it all the same, just to 
to make this go by a little bit faster. And in the meantime, we are sticking to the road. Hopefully we can find a couple more of those uh, dwarf markers. I'm not sure. It would be great if we did. But I don't think we can complete that date. I'm not counting on it. If we do, I'm going to be very happy. If we don't, uh, that'll, that'll be okay. We can always come back for more. So what's this? I guess this was another bridge. Underbrot, maybe... I'm not sure. Well, we've already been here at Hengis Leap as part of the Legacy of Dudin when we were tracking the Orc party. But for now, our path takes us once again to the north. After we cross this, we will be officially in Mist Hallow. I just want to double check before we do because uh, as far as I remember uh, yeah we're halfway through so the other half of these markers should be on, on Mist Hallow I hope so would be great if that was the case But we'll need to wait and see. <laughs> the camp's occupants glance and nod towards you and lay threat as you enter. Talk list. The small bjorning encampment is occupied by a lone bjorning and an eagle. Which is very interesting. But first, uh, the milestone is going to be useful. The horse. And here we have Scarred in Workspain. Okay. Who are you? Runeric has sent you. This must be trying times. Do not speak to me of Ujak Fulu. I am even less pleased than you about the works to escape my wrath and made for the bloodfields. It would have not been so if not for Gurvarash and those coarse trolls who blockade half the valley. The eagle perch at Tokvist eyes you closely. It seems you have something to add, Fanglint. All right, so uh, the works that we saw on the previous episodes as well, uh, they were able to come into the Bloodfells because Gurvarash, the troll that we also met, opened the way for them or, or cleared the way. That's very interesting. Fanglint accepts your greeting. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yes, I know who you are, Veryathan. I have heard about you from Lord Gwai here. With what knowledge of you I have, I know your assistance will be a boon to us in ousting this Gurbarash. No good can come from a Gundava chieftain in these lands. You have my gratitude and my respect. Yeah, that's right, that troll escaped. We still need to find him. You have witnessed the mist for yourself as you descended into Mist Hallow. When the fog lowered upon this forest valley in times past, it lingered and never left. This alone makes it difficult for my brethren and I to properly patrol the skies above Mist Hallow. What moves upon the valley floor remains a mystery to the eagles. Scarding shifts his weight and looks restless. That is where my friend Scarding has been a great assistance to both Eagle and Bjorning. He has patrolled and defended the valley of Mist Hallow to great effect. I would have done this even had you not asked, Fanglin. This is the life I have chosen. Scarding clutches one of his work pails, then quickly removes his hand when you notice. A gift, nothing more. The rest are trophies, errant in battle. Enough idle chatter, Warden. We must oust Gurvarash from Loomrog. There are hills under the mist that may give us a proper vantage over the Gundavat encampment. Let us first seek a hill where we might spy the enemy patrol I have tracked. Uh, alright. So you can see here, this guy has seen his fair share of battle not someone you might want to mess with. Glad he's on our side. It is very kind of Starding to let us stay at his encampment and continue my research in Mist Hollow. Beryathan, have you ever seen a great eagle this close before? 
Such beauty! These lands are full of impressive surprises. It is very kind of Scarding to let us stay at his encampment and continue my research in Mist Hollow. It would seem that our next location to visit is the old Aithuta ruins of Lumrock. However, Scarding has informed me that Lumrock is currently occupied by all sorts of vicious trolls. No matter. The ruins were most likely an old farmhouse and nothing more. Yes, we shall skip these ruins and continue tracing the footsteps of the Aithuta as they settled throughout the valley. Perhaps we should assist our new friend here first and defeat some of the orcs in this valley. Alright, yeah, simple enough. Are you sure there are no more quests in here? I I, I seem to remember there, there were. Uh, Elder Slate? Yeah, no. Well, we have the introduction to Elder Slate. I have not forgotten about that. And that will involve some uh, backtracking when we get there, but... Uh, not, not a big deal. But yeah, that's it. Just need to... Scout in place, defeat orcs. Okay, we can do that. We find no enemy presence here. Now we just follow the road, it seems. Trolls were here, but quite some time ago. What makes you think that? Are there troll footsteps, maybe? Ah, yeah, here they are. Okay. We're quite the trackers, it seems. Uh, love those kind of small details of storytelling. Alright, no, we, we need to climb this hill, my bad. Is attacking? A bad. You see another eagle, a gray deer, and oh, this eagle looks so cool. I mean, black and sort of reddish feathers, quite different from the other eagles we've seen so far. The eagle stares at you inquisitively. Have you discovered something? I did not realize others would be looking to perch upon my heel. You seem a little too polite for your own good, traveler. I, a greater clock catcher, prefer to rest here after a great kill. Now make yourself useful and fetch me some small stones. Yes, that will do. They must be somewhere on the forest floor. And, uh, what do you need the stones for? Yeah, I remember this guy. He... He doesn't think too high of us. Uh, in fact, he's quite dismissive. Or at least he will for a while. Now, Hunter. Right. Ah, I think I remember now what what a grader wants to do with the stones. But I will wait until we go back to him and give the stones before I say anything.
right. Back to him. is gone. Alright. Dr. Fankly. Yeah. So, even though we can go back to the camp with the milestone, I just want to explore a little bit in case we find something useful. There's got to be a dwarf marker in one of these cliffs. Live. But no. That wasn't it. You made the grad here. I apologize if he was rude. Eagles do not always see eye to eye, neither among themselves nor with other smaller folk. Yes, many of the eagles follow Lord Y here, living by his own noble code. But there are others, such as my brother Egradir, who follow none but themselves. Be careful, friend. We are not alone here. Worry not about Egradir. While he cares only for eagle kind, he is not wicked. Do not be fooled by his mien. He may offer help, but none will come from my brother. He considers all but the eagles to be lesser than he. I can be no more assistance to you on the ground. Speak with Skardin about where to proceed, and with what. I have found the patrol. I saw the brutes return to Lumrock. Let us survey the place from on high, for here we are too surrounded by mist. I do not know what lurks in Lumrock, but something there protects the chieftain Gruvarash from our claws. I thought... We were already uh, scouting that place. I mean, but yeah, sure. I think I'm gonna remove this orc quest from the tracker because it's, it's distracting a little bit. I mean, you see, I'm I'm a little bit too reliant on the on the quest tracker and the minimap, and maybe the very oldest veterans of the game will run at me. <laughs> From what I understand, there was no a quest guide on the minimap in the early days of the game. But well, <laughs> the game has changed a lot over the years, and in this one and all the other games I play, I do really like quite a lot on this sort of guiding systems. Every once in a while I, I give a license to myself to not look at it that much, not pay attention to the instructions and just wander around a little bit. But today I just want to get going. As you see here we're so ready to get into Elder Slate and I do enjoy the uh, Worlds of Land plot, but I also want to uh, go to Elder Slate. Find a suitable heal, but... When you say a suitable heal, which one are you talking about? Because... I don't suppose you would be talking about one of these. But okay, let's get going with the troll slaying. We'll need to do that. Troll and hot goblin slayer. Yeah, you, you remember I told you this deed was reset uh, a few weeks after the Wells of Blank Blood was initially released. I was almost done with the tier 1, but didn't... Uh, well, set the time to 
at least complete tier one so that the reset wouldn't affect me. So instead, <laughs> I had to redid the thing twice. Well, once once at first at release and then when it was reset. But yeah, it seems this is not the heal for the So. Oh. Okay. It's all coming back to me now, I think. Yeah, that's what I thought. A grider is blocking the view. Find another heal nearby. Oh. That's kind of rude, you guy. Because, well, we can technically uh, still check the camp from here, but that is just the dips <laughs> not being entire uh, Entirely bad on us. I mean, a grider wouldn't allow us to come. Might even attack us. Who knows? Best not to try our luck. Oh, jeez. Better get my names back on. I can see why I'm getting too close to an enemy or something. And now I guess we go back to the hill where we first met the Gryadir. Come on. You do not have a good view of Loom Rock, but do you have a you do have a plan? Come on! Uh From here, yeah, we, we, we do not see the camp too clearly. Oh, we need to cross the river once again. I don't remember what's the plan, so actually forget what I said. I remember some bits of this portion of the game, but not enough. Last one, there we go. Field of fire on a hilltop. Ah, yeah, okay. Now I definitely remember this. Uh, I know this is like the third time I upset this, but. But I got it now. This one, for sure, I do remember what's going to happen next. <laughs> the 
field of fire on the hilltop. Go back where we were. Uh, what's the location for the fire? I'm not sure. Uh, a good place to build a fire. Okay, there we go. Fire on the hilltop. Okay. I'll talk to a grader about the fire. Exactly. So we lure him away with the fire so he clears uh, the hill where he is. And that way we will have a uh, clear line of view of the troll camp. God, this is taking way longer than I expected. Let them attack us. Right now, I I'm not feeling like fighting another bat. These trolls, maybe. You explained to a graduate that a fire has been lit on one of the nearby hills. Yes, I see it. It was most likely set by those vile trolls. I do not like the way they cut down and burn the forest. By the time you get there, worthless and slow, the entire hilltop will be scorched from base to crest. I shall put it out. And from here we can look at a camp. The encampment is very well guarded. Oh my god, I gotta go back to scarding? Is that for real? Why don't I attack the camp now? For this one, I will use the milestone. This is back and forth is getting way too much by now. <laughs> you played a good trick on Egradir. No, I do not think he would ever work with Gundabad. He hates orcs as much as Fanglin does. Egradir is more of a fool, really. He knows not the time for play and the time for work. That is something all Bjornings know. My work, it seems, is never done. Scarding looks into the mist, clutching his gifted orc belt. He mutters quietly to himself. Soon. Soon my work will be finished. Now then. The time has come to attack the Gundabad blockade. We know that Loomrock is too well guarded to attack directly. We will need to even the odds in our favor. Fanglin and I have a plan that should leave Loomrock unprotected. If we can confuse the brutes and make some of their numbers leave the outpost, you should be able to strike at Gurbaraj. Defeat Worms or Ravank in Mist Hollow and lay their carcasses upon the stone nut croppings near Loomrock. Fanglin and I will take care of the rest. We can do that, I guess. We have enough time today for some avant hunting. There's plenty of them around the place. We, we've already seen some of them, actually. Had I known, I would have already gathered some of the carcasses from the avant we have fought. Can you 
at least climb on here. I don't know why, but I have the feeling there's a dwarf marker on that other side, but I don't know if we have enough time to check that today. So we'll just uh, look for the oven. I guess. Yeah, you, well, there's one there, but you can find them near the shore, most likely. Ah! Well, there's two of them, actually, so we're almost done. Ah! Ah yep. Yeah, I'm so glad we have access now to the personal light. Because Mist Hollow, well, all the mist and everything, it's in the name, but it can get dark, very dark at times. as close to the shore as I thought, but at least we got it. So I think we don't have enough time today for an attack on Loomrock uh, for the second part of, of Scarting's plan. Ah! But I also don't feel good about the idea of just uh, stopping here in the middle of the wild, risking an attack. So I'm going back to uh, the fuck fist. Wasn't that far, actually. It's good to know there are there there is an orc camp that we can uh, go back to to get the remaining three orcs for the other quest. So I guess we'll be starting next episode with that. So yeah, I don't think we have enough time to continue our quests for today, so join me next time and we will attack the troll camp of Lumra. For the time being though, this has been all of today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will see you later.